and welcome back in this video and by the way thank you for subscribing thank you for putting all those positive comments there keep them coming you know it just gives me joy to know that you are revising you are putting all your efforts into it because remember you can yes you can don't stop revising whatever you do keep pushing keep revising keep singing keep eating a little bit of kfc here and there as much as you can keep sleeping enough and doing all of those things and revise a lot okay i'm gonna just compare mitosis and meiosis quickly in mitosis you start with 46 cells then you have the stages which i already covered in my last video on mitosis and then you end up with 46 46 that is actually diploid cells so they are diploid cells it means that you have 23 pairs of, of, of a total of 46 uh, cell chromosomes in human cells but for meiosis it's like you have double the stage. The, the, the stage happens all over again. So you end up with 46, 46, and those split in half for you to end up with 23. Now, this is the process that leads to gametes. Keyword, gametes are sex cells. So like sperm and the egg cell in humans and pollen and ovum in plants. Now, it is very important that these cells are only 23 chromosomes. Remember? When the male and the female gametes fuse together during fertilization, they have so when you have the female and the male and the and the male fuse together, 23, 23, they pair up because you get one set of your genes from dad and one set from mom. Alright? To make the 46 full cells that starts to divide by mitosis and carry on uh, to differentiation and become a full human. Or organism that is being formed so that's just a quick way of reminding you and the last thing I want to say to you you know the phases of mitosis that I explained in my previous video uh, are interphase you have the I'm just gonna shorten it you have interphase you have prophase you have metaphase you have anaphase you have telophase where it splits in two and you have cytokinesis cyto Kinesis. All right. Now, if it's for the, if this is for uh, mitosis. In the case of meiosis, all of these will be one, 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 one. So that will take you to forty-six chromosomes. So when you then start the process all over, it will become interphase two, prophase two, metaphase two. So instead of just having one cell carrying out prophase and all of that, you actually have two cells doing it concurrently. So that when you get to a stage where you end up with 46 chromosomes like that, when you get to second telophase, each of these cells will actually split up so you end up with, uh, you know, something of that. If I can use that to just demonstrate it yeah this is a really quick video that's how you end up with half of it 23 actually that's how you end up with half the number of cell of chromosomes that the that started the cell division okay i hope that really helps you to compare mitosis and meiosis if you want me to to, to tailor this to any of your exam board i'll check the specification and let you know but this is just an overview of mitosis and meiosis compared keep revising have a good weekend by the way but keep revising and god bless you